So this stone here has been erected by the Templars and um, here it says what it is. You can read it. So it says they erected this stone or somebody else uh, because of the, uh, the people who were condemned by the Knights Templars. I told you they were evil people. They condemned the people, eh? They sentenced the people to a death sentence. They were not the, you know, listen, you Nazis and all that, you know, they're not the saviors of the white race, hey? Eh? Just wakey, wakey, don't, you're living in Hollywood, you know? So I'm here in this place here, Montenay de Templier. Yeah. There are evil people, bastards. Evil, like the Swiss. That's where they went to, hey? Eh? Evil. Just plain evil. We're having an Indian summer here. Now it's a little bit cloudy now, but you know, the whole two last two weeks it was blue sky. It's too hot really, and already in my shoes, I'm, I'm, I'm missing my sandals. Really? It's horrible, yeah. It's, it's too hard to walk on, on in boots, you know, especially if it's hot, it makes you more tired. So here at the entrance of the village, there's an obelisk. So here's still the village, there's the monument. And you know, it's an obelisk which looks like a cage. And the obelisk is a symbol of the pharaonic domination. So, do I really have to tell you more? So we are the people in the cage and they are the obelisk, the, 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 the domination. And on top of the, you know, there's the Isis, Horus and Seth. You know? They know what they're doing. You sheep. Only you don't know it, you sheeple. Oh man, I'm missing my sandals, eh? I, I prefer the, like the Viet Cong. That's why they won the war, because they were walking on sandals, mate. Yeah, the Templar Road. You get in, you get at the Templar Road. All Templars. It's all over France. So the commander is there. They just put a, a, a lorry there. You see, even a cross here, it's a Templar's cross. It's not, you know, on top of a pillar here. Oi, somebody forgot something. So another castle, but it was built later apparently. And the mayor here, he, um, um, I'm going to meet him in an hour. He's going to show me another Templar's chapel. And uh, so I'm going to see that one now here, there. Oh, apparently this is from the Templar's era. There's not much to see. Now again, uh, the road of the Templars here. That says the Templars Road. There's not much to see here. But anyway, I was lucky to, to have met the mayor. <coughs> hey, cowboy. You can attach your horse here. <coughs> Nothing to see, but I, I was lucky I met the mayor. So let's have a look. So I'm going to meet the mayor here at this Templars church. And he tries to raise money to uh, renovate it. And look at here, La Fondation de la, de, du Patrimoine, uh, the French Heritage, you know, Foundation. You see, you see the logo. You know, there are two squares in it, so it's got the concept of four, and there are four triangles, four times the concept of uh, three. Uh, in the, uh, the the colors of the red house and the white house, the free ma the uh, Templars colors. Well, what do you know? I eh? it's always the same thing. Always. Yeah, uh, it says <laughs> liberty, equality, fraternity. <laughs> uh, watch the uh, the Swiss beats, and you know what that means. So, as you can hear, they're renovating the old Templars church the chapel. Apparently there are three graves of, three of uh, Templars here, but anyway, I didn't find them, but what did I did find? Uh, three maids and handshake. And this one here is with the thumb, you know, look. He's putting the thumb like in between here, pushing it, eh? Like Trump is doing, and all the others, you know, and, and David Icke. So here the guys are working on the uh, Chapel of the Templars. I hope the mayor is coming. 
Oh, you can show me the rest. Hello, guys. You all right? <laughs> so it's still closed. Uh, I'm waiting for the mayor to come. So here's the entrance. Ah, oh, Rotary is here as well. Oh, bloody hell. And he told me he's not a Freemason. I don't believe a word of it. And I know it's not true. A mayor, he cannot be not a Freemason. It's not possible. So it is from the uh, 13th century. Yes, it says. Where is it? Yeah. So that's the last year of the... Oh, there he is. I, I can... I hear him coming. So he's going to open the door. Don't repair it, because finally I don't know you. Don't repair the church to propose this packet that resumes finally the interests of the church of Saint Ambroise and the interesting things and classic that are to visit or to see in this church. And we are going to saccage the church. Les bancs étaient tous là à la verticale, ils ont descendu parce qu'ils sont obligés d'intervenir, ils ont fait des bricolages, des travaux. So they ransacked it all, uh, it got all destroyed by, by vandalism. Et les dalles, ils ont où les dalles de Templiers Ah, ils sont disparus. So here you can see the, um, the Templars crosses here in this church. So it is uh, like uh, 1200 to 1300. Here's some more. And um, here is the, uh, the Maltese cross, which is more like the pyramid folded out, as I've shown you. Apparently, there's about 16 in here. It's going to be hard to find them all because the gypsies, they, uh, they destroyed everything in here. So this is the mare. And um, I don't know where the other ones are. Yeah, here's another sword. But anyway, there's about 16, it's quite hard. They are renovating it now. And, uh, yeah. So the fresques here are from the 17th century. Uh, and it's, it's part of the, um, of the church then, eh? So this is the altar. Yeah. The Grail. So this is probably later then, right? It's not from the Templars era that they call it at all. So here there are four windows, you know, that's a concept of four. There's another one. And only two of them they got the um, this uh, the pyramid here, the Freemason symbol, yeah. The other ones they don't have it. Oh here it is, yeah. So it's not for the construction, there's a, uh, a meaning to it. it. It's like an anomaly, and if there is an anomaly in the construction, that means you have to... Um, they want to accentuate something. So I have here two poor little Templars. One is full, and the other one is empty. Oh, the poor guys, really. So the mayor, you know, and the other ones, you know, the son of the, uh, the grandson of the Belgian, Belgian king, and the other one who was working for the Masons, the um, Van der Gazelle, you know, they're asking money, you know, for their heritage. Oh, the poor little Templars, really. Oh, they're some poor guys, yeah. So I was talking with the mayor, and I asked him if he was a Freemason, he said no, but of course they always say no. And you have to be a Freemason if you want to be the mayor, you know. I know that. And he's collecting money for their heritage. 
it's not our heritage so this is the Templars uh, uh, chapel so here you can give your money you know they're really nice people Freemasons and the Wanda Kazella, the head of the one of the three guys who were working there. He was the uh, the guy with the black hair. He was a. Uh, the, uh, they are servants for the Freemasons. These guys, uh, Wanda Gazella or the um, Compagnon. Yeah, Compagnon du Duval. And the other guy, the young guy with the glasses, he was the grandson of the Belgian king, the Belgian king really nice people and he invited me I stayed over I had nice food really lovely people and uh, he he uh, confirmed me that the uh, the aristocracy is still ruling that they come from Pharaoh he even told me that the uh, the French president actual president who was in a school called Ena uh, it's a school for presidents he um, um, one of his uncles, he uh, founded that school, and other uncles, they are senators, and well, the aristocracy are still ruling, you know, it's not like these two. So, I have here two little Templars, the poor little Templars here, this one is empty Templar, and this one is a full Templar. Oh, those poor little Templars, needing to share a horse and all that. Poor creatures they are. Well, of course this Templar's chapel is not our heritage of the people. It's their heritage. Freemasons, Rotary, Templars, the aristocracy, the grandson of the king and the uh, Le Compagnon. It's their heritage. And he confirmed it to me, the uh, the grandson of the uh, of the Belgian king, that the uh, the pharaohs, that the, the aristocracy, they come out of pharaoh, and um, that they are still ruling. He even told me that um, his uncles were senators, and um, who founded Lena. Where the French president, the the the, uh, the the school of presidents, where he was in, in a Templar's commandery. I mean, we owe a lot to these people, you know, so why don't we help him? Eh? I'll leave it up to your imagination how. Yeah. Because there's all they've always they've they founded everything and yeah, they are our masters, you know, so we must be very thankful. So I, I made a little joke there with the workers, you know, the, uh, the, the, the compagnon guy, the servants of the Freemasons and the, uh, the royalty, the builders of the churches, they, you know, they were the builders. And the Freemason guy, no, he wasn't there at the moment, and the, uh, the grandson of the Belgian king. And he, the, the, the grandson, he said, well, you got some, you got some nice calves, you know. I was already, I've been walking a lot, like in the army, you know, and I continue to walk. So, they, they, you know, they get massive, yeah, you know, walking. I'll go with my Bergen and all that gear, you know. So I made a joke, because in French, you know, the, uh, the calves, it's called Les Mollets. And there is the last grandmaster of the Knights Templars, his name is Jacques de Mollet. And I, n I never thought about this before, you know, and I, very spontaneously I said, well, I am Jacques de Molay, a lo uh, uh, ja Jack of the Calves, you know, like in French, actually. It's been written in a different way, so, but it's been pronounced in the same way, the Calves and uh, Jacques de Molay, Les Molay are the Calves. So the grandson of the Belgian king, he, you know, he almost choked into his coffee, you know, he was almost on the floor and all that. And he said, spontaneously, he said, well, you come to my home tonight. So that's how it all happened, eh? There's a little joke, you know, you can open up doors, like, you know? Some good old British humour or South African humour. I mean, you know, why would the Belgian, grand, the, the grandson of the Belgian king, would, why would he be interested to renovate a Templar's chapel? if the Templars wouldn't be aristocrats. See? Watch the Swiss beast. Uh, that's what I've been telling you. 
And why would the Freemason guy and the uh, the mayor, why would he be interested, you know, to renovate this Templar's treasure? So this Templar's uh, chapel, sorry, I drank a bit too much. Um, if the Freemasons wouldn't be out of the Knights Templars, yeah. But I had a jolly good time. They were very friendly, very nice with me. They're nice people after all, aren't they? Eh? Very nice people. If we would forget the uh, the Mother of Darkness castle and all the wars and torture and satanic ritual, very nice people indeed. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So that one was a plan of a map of the village and I think it's a middle age map or whatever old this is the uh, this is the mayor you can have his email there and you know send him his money because he's a Freemason and uh, you know they're poor people yeah and uh, as you saw the rotary thing and this is the email of the um, of their club for the, uh, the bank accounts and all that and here, this is the logo of the uh, the foundation of the French heritage, you see. And it's in red and white, the colors of the Templars and of the, uh, the red and white house of Pharaoh. In the middle is the square, which is a concept of four. And there are four uh, small triangles. The triangle is a concept of three which stands for the compass and the um, and there are four of them so that's the, com the concept of four at the same time and uh, the concept of four which stands for the square I already explained that to you in my film The Swiss Beast Home of the Devil so it was a nice you know uh, really nice people there and um, grandson of the king the, uh, the, the guys working for the aristocracy, the uh, compagnon and Freemason and um, well they deserve our help, don't they now? I mean they're also very nice to us, aren't they? Uh, all over, all, through all the ages, the aristocracy and the castles, they're very nice to us and you know and uh, I feel really sorry for them, you know, that they have to share one horse and you know, no money for their for that poor little Templar's Chapel and all that, and um, yeah, and uh, the Freemasons, of course, they're so very nice to us, and you know, so yeah, why don't we um, help them in some sort of a way? Um, I'll leave that up to your imagination, how. Huh?